Well, welcome back. We have Mickey Nettles joining us from the Camelot's Fitness Center this afternoon. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You guys have that fabulous Biggest Loser contest yes. going on. Yes, that and the 10 pound challenge are right, we're right in kind of the heat of it in the middle of it. Well, almost to the middle of it, but uh, but no, it's great. People are coming along, but um, you know, it's always where we get that kind of, can I do this? The drop off rate, you know, am I going to be able to stick with it? So. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going to ask me something. I, I was actually. I was going to ask you quickly. Before I go on. Yeah. Before you go on. Um, if people are going to drop out, yeah. you probably see a trend of where that's going to happen. Is yes. it usually, where, where does it happen? That's what I'm saying. Like right about now, right? So that's when we're trying to just educate them a little more, more mm -hmm. and get them. See, it's, I mean, you got to get over that hump, right? Mm -hmm. They're thinking, I've done all this. You know, what is it going to benefit me? Is it, am I going to see the results of it? But the biggest thing we find at this point is... The food, it's all a learning point. Like they've got the workouts down, they got their cardio, you know, it's getting down, they're, they're aren't just adding everything, but the food is still a, a major deal of it. And it's getting around um, the importance of the macronutrients. When we say macronutrients, it's proper fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. So I still have people coming, and it, it might sound weird, but they're not eating enough. And everyone thinks, well, less portions, yes, but you've got to eat often. So they're thinking that that's going to... Um, make them lose weight. Well, no, they're hanging on, right? So mm -hmm. it's, it's getting the education behind that. We had a good example of that is I had a guy who come in doing um, marathon running. So exercises lots, right? Mm -hmm. He says and comes in frustrated. I don't know how you're going to help me because I exercise so much and I can't lose the weight. Well, when I take a look at his food, is he's exercising so much that it's eating at his lean body mass, not the fat. <laughs> really? So he's going, the body's going in starvation mode because you're not getting the proper amount of nutrients. And that's the biggest thing to get through people's heads is that they need the proper amount. If you have too much of any one macronutrient, it's going to give you an adverse effect, right? So he just literally wasn't eating enough. And so the amount of food I gave him when I figured out how much exercise he's doing, his lean body mass, lean body mass is everything but fat. So that's, that's everything, but mostly muscle. And um, when he's looking at that and I give him the, the food that he needed for all that exercises he's doing and the proper amounts of food, he looked at it and thought, I'm going to be a blimp. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. And absolute opposite happened. He just started shedding weight, right? Was so, it the kind of foods he was eating? He wasn't eating enough protein? He wasn't, um, he wasn't eating enough food in general at, at all. But wow. a lot of times what it is is... Um, People wait all day or they'll wait too long between meals. And then, of course, when you do that, what happens? What happens at night? Your body... <laughs> well, we all start binging. Yes. Because <laughs> we haven't eaten, fed the body through the day. And, and that then, is terrible because the body terrible. opens up and takes yeah. it all in and yeah. stores it. Yeah, well, because you've starved yourself all yes. day. So it hangs onto that. And that's the one thing I want to get around to people is that by not eating... Um, I mean, obviously, by not eating is not a good thing. But by waiting all day either is not a good thing. I mean, that's what sumo wrestlers do. They wait till the end of the night and they eat a 5,000 calorie meal just before bed because they want to be big. <laughs> they purposely are They purposely do it. So if that's what you want, go ahead and do that. Right. But I'm sure that's not what you Most want. people are not looking to be sumo, sumo wrestlers. That's, right. that's just how it yeah. is. And the funny thing, with, though, I have to say with the sumo wrestlers, they are still eating um, fairly clean foods because they don't want to be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, that sounds weird, but what I mean is they'd want to be big, but their hearts and everything else are actually in good condition mm -hmm. because they're still eating good quality food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But if you save all your calories and not eat I mean that's what's gonna happen but the other thing is is we don't usually eat clean so we're eating you know high fat saturated foods and and lots of carbohydrates usually and what's that that turns to fat right I yeah. heard a number on you know the, mm -hmm. the best way to look at it for weight loss it's a 75 food thing 75% mm -hmm. food it's 25% exercise. Would you say that's incorrect or correct? Oh, I would say that's absolutely correct. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, the food is a huge part of it, and we just don't seem to get that, uh, that out of it. But, I mean, for just general people, I mean, if you're going to have the proper amounts of, um, when you're looking at your foods, you know, proteins, carbohydrates, keep them balanced, basically. But have some fat, but good fat. And good that's, fat. that's with women. I find that's really, really hard to get around them is to to get the fats, but I can't eat fat, it's fat. Yes, but it's good fat. <laughs> That's right. And we need that, you need fat to burn fat. I mm -hmm. also hear that good fats you need because your brain doesn't function as well yeah, without those fats. Yeah, it feeds your brain, exactly. It feeds your brain. Yeah, it feeds your brain. So, so you're, you're actually losing IQ points. That's right. You're not eating <laughs> uh, avocados, or there's lots of healthy fats. Yeah, there's some examples. hemp seeds, flax seeds, avocado, um, cold pressed oils, mm -hmm. um, what's another good one, salmon, that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Those mm -hmm. are all, nuts and seeds are good too. Um, almonds are really good in protein, so sometimes we'll say eat a lot of almonds, but what we're looking for is a balance of three, six, nine. I'm sure you've heard those numbers of balance of omega-3, 6, and 9. Um, 
almonds are higher higher in six, so they're not balanced three, six, nine, right? That's why we say get some of the other ones like oodles oil or the flax, the ground flax. Now with flax, it's best ground because then you're getting the fiber and the fat. If you just take the seed, you're just getting the fiber. And if you're just taking the oil, then you're just getting the fat. So you want some of that fiber. The hemp seeds are great for that too, right? Because then you get the fiber in there. Fiber is important too. It is huge. <laughs> That's a whole topic to itself, yeah, so really. You need, if you're not going to the bathroom at least twice, at least, or even once a day, you, you're not getting enough fiber. Twice so. a day? Amazing. <laughs> I don't know anybody. That's amazing. <laughs> should you, for most seeds, though, grind them up? Like people say, oh, yeah, I take flax seeds and all these things, but you should grind them up into well, a powder. Well, that's what I'm saying to, to make them ground, right? Yeah, so you yeah. take the flax seed and grind it, yes, because yeah. if it's in its whole state, you're mm -hmm. just it's just going to be fiber. It's going to pass through. It's going to pass through, it's yeah, which is fine. Through. I mean, it's fiber, but you yeah. might as well get the both of best worlds. And that's have it. right. But again, balanced, right? You don't mm -hmm. want to have, I mean, good fats, yes, we need them, but mm -hmm. generally most people can get away with about 50 grams of good fats a day. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I mean, depending on your weight and size and all that, and usually yeah. I go through that, but and, um, you know, proteins and stuff, usually most people, if, depending if they're not working or just general exercise, mm -hmm. Again, very, I mean, depending on size and all that stuff, but women probably 15 to 20 or 20 to 25 grams of protein and men would be, you know, more like the 35 to 40 grams okay. of protein a meal, that type of thing. We always appreciate having you on. Obviously, a bit of an authority on the food and the intake, <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you being here to give us a few tips on on, on the food. It's great. Thank you. Um, if you have questions, 434-6767, what you eat, you are what you eat. You are? <laughs>